Jamu Solution Team, and this short video is going to show you our latest support for iOS 7. I've already pre-installed iOS 7 Beta 3 on one of our iPhone 5 here. Um, I, I will show you the uh, language record and replay functionalities on QTP. Uh, here on, on the PC side, I've already have my uh, device manager open, and uh, on my device, I in the I opened a mute agent, and then I click connect, and uh, my device is uh, showing up in the connected device bar, and I I will show you the uh, remote screen. So this is uh, our agent running in iOS seven. And uh, what I'm going to uh, the steps what I'm going to do will be exactly the same as um, uh, any other iOS systems uh, of our tool. So it will be the same steps as iOS six uh, or five or iOS four point three. And yeah, I opened uh, QTP and then I should open QTP. Click yes and OK. Now I have my QTP open, I should create a new project for, for this test. Uh, test 23 sounds great, great. And on the device side, I'm going to a UI catalog for demonstration. So this, uh, this is our UI catalog running in iOS 7, and I, I will try to uh, fill up my object responsory with the language. In the object responsory, responsory, and then I try to add a local object, and I click at this point. Click OK. This is going to take a few minutes. Okay, we are done, and uh, all the objects inside the UI catalog uh, is filled in during the object response story. You can see a table view here, and a navigation bar, all the navigation bar, and all the object, all the other objects. So this is working great, and then I'm I'm going to uh, try to record something. So I, I I click record, click OK. And on the, on the device here, I'm going to uh, click on these buttons. So, so the, the script is created for clicking on that button. I'm going to try to push on this button for three times. One, two, three. Three times, three times recorded. I'm trying to put this two times. Okay, this is work, working great. And uh, I'm going to try to uh, go back. Okay, and I, I'm going to try to uh, click on maybe uh, UI control. Why not? And I'm going to click on the switch. This one. Shoot. And going to uh, slide the slider. Okay, I'm going to click on the back button. Okay, this is uh this this looks great. So I'm going to spot stop it and I'm going to try to replay it. Okay, now I'm going to run the scripts I just recorded. And wait, 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 let me show you the screen and on the QTP I click run. And I click the on the buttons menu, click two times, you can see the value change. Oh, it's too fast. And then go to the control, change the slider, and then and then go back to the main screen. 
So when the test is finished, you have the result. Everything is working great. So this is uh, our current support for iOS 7. Uh, thank you very much and see you next time.